Hi, everybody, and hi, Amanda. Hi, everybody. Hi, Catherine. Welcome back to season three, episode one of What, what the Talk. I forgot Woo! to do What the Talk. Okay, I know if you're listening, you can't see us, but if you can, you can see us now, though. Yeah. It's season three. Yeah. We got this for y'all. I'm about to Started from the bottom, now we're here. Hey, hey. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna shake the whole table. O D O D. We're gonna get in trouble for that. <laughs> Moderator, I'm sorry. <laughs> but oh my god, I missed you guys. Yes. Question before we even start. No, I, I'm I'm not even. Like, it's not a hard question. It's very simple. Okay. Okay. What do you think? What the talk like? Why do you think we're doing this? Oh, wow! Deep reflection here. <laughs> I didn't know I that. Know. <laughs> After three seasons, what are we doing? Yeah. Um, I guess to shed light on some things that are in the dark or okay. in the closet. I think that's what I could say. Because a lot of the stuff we say or we talk about mm-hmm. is is like stuff that we usually do talk about, but not in depth. Okay, yeah. It's like a surface level. Mm-hmm. I'm shaking the table. My <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. So do you think that your kids, now that it's like videotaped, I feel like the fact that it was only in people's ears, mm-hmm. I didn't see the impact of it. But now I feel like when we're 30, 40, 50, Ooh, we could sure. always go back to see, oh, in my 20s, we did a podcast. Yeah. Is it just going to be like, we did a podcast or we were really doing something, you know? Mm. I want it to be bigger than that. Okay. Not just like, okay, two stupid girls doing the podcast. Oh, we ain't stupid now. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> bright girls <laughs> trying to speak a little hint hint about life i like i like what you said you yeah. said shed light on things that like usually are just on the surface but we go more deeper okay we yeah. go deeper i like deeper. it i like it yeah. all right all right what about you i just told you oh. it's just like i feel like when we get older now it's more serious to me like i always said yeah we don't want to keep it that way we want to make it bigger but now it's like it's real, real. People yeah, can see y'all me. see it. I y'all see myself. See <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all could see the face behind the voice. I mean, y'all knew my face already, but hey, it's hard to miss. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Powerpuff Curls for my for her locks, honey. For my locks, uh, get into it. Listen, my girl did that. If you have three hundred dollars, hit her up. Ooh, all that money, you a lie. <laughs> Canadian or American? <laughs> Canadian money. <laughs> okay, y'all Americans girl afford it. <laughs> but what the story for today, Amanda? What Ooh, the child. story? Y'all know this is third season and 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 can you believe it? In one year we already came out with three seasons. Uh, Let's give her consistent. a round of applause. We are, we are, we are. <laughs> I'm over here literally clip clapping. But, <laughs> but yeah, in in the course of, you know. Trying to do this, bring y'all content and information for y'all. Catherine and I were involved in a huge accident, y'all. <laughs> Just a huge. It was not huge. It was impactful and eventful. It was a minor <laughs> car accident. It was not huge. <laughs> and a way to get the equipment for this beautiful setup that our moderator, um, Samuel. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what, what, what do we call him? Mm-hmm. I call him Sammy. I call him baby, whatever. <laughs> y'all could call him Sammy. <laughs> But <laughs> we got hit by a a, a car. Yeah, well, a little Versa, a little short, little car. Yeah, and she just stopped, rolled down the window, and be like, like, "Y'all, y'all okay? okay?" Drive off. <laughs> she, was just, she was just like, "Y'all okay?" <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking at Captain like, "We good?" <laughs> and the lady went off. Like, what was happening? What happened was I was parking. I was doing like a parallel parking from the left. Yeah, and then I'm going, and Madame not literally like crashed the car, yeah. and it's just like she rolled down her window. Y'all okay? And, and then the big dog in the back. Yeah. And, and, and I'm like, uh, I, yeah. Like, I, I don't know. And Are Catherine, we okay? Catherine was just saying a few, mi- few seconds before that, Catherine was saying, I hate parking from the left. And boom. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like doing the parallel parking from the left. I'm, I just feel so odd. Well, her car was scratched up, but ours was fine. Yeah. So. But that's the story. Her face. <laughs> sorry, lady. If you missed it. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's your fault. You have fault. So we could be suing her. Man. Right? That was what the story. Yeah. Of, of the day. <laughs> okay. What are we? We're going to be in October. But right now we're in like, we're in August, August. right? Yeah. So that means this quarantine thing. Well, I don't even know if it's quarantine anymore. The way I'm seeing people smoking hookahs mm-hmm. and having party, I feel like I'm in the 
quarantine. Like, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. That's the first place I've been in so long. <laughs> yeah. How was your whole... I know from March, we, we recorded, we stopped recording when? End of in March? April, no? In April? Okay. No, actually May. May? Wait, uh, hold on. I don't know. No, it was May. May? Beginning of May. Yeah, because we were recording when I was saying that. Okay, mm-hmm. so we ended recording in May, and then we said we were going to start back in July, and then we didn't, so we said, okay, end of August. August. Da, 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 da. And then we're end of August now. So. Yeah. So now, what was... And then, what happened? Let me tell y'all a story. Ooh. So... <laughs> In the middle of this whole thing, mm. Amanda went, at first she went, she was a little... Participant. Yeah, we, she we was here say. with me, you know, a little bit. We called each other almost every day because we are in business together. So we do have to keep talking all the time. Yeah. So we called each other for business and stuff like that. And then after a while, she just disappeared I from the earth. I ghost capping, you Yeah, know? she literally ghosted me for like a period of two months about. It, it was that long? Maybe a month. <laughs> yeah, see, those Haitians. I gotta be extra. I was extra. Maybe a month, okay? A month. Oh, probably. No, I don't even truly believe her. It's probably a couple of weeks. Okay, so for the couple of weeks that you were gone, what did you, what What was going on? What was, what was, Honestly, what was Honestly, I was in the period of solitude. Solitude. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you say, okay. <laughs> I needed, <laughs> um, not space. Not from you, because mm. I need to clarify that. Mm, yeah. Not from what the talk, mm, man. Mm. But I just, I felt a void. I had a lot of stress going on with mm-hmm. um, work and everything. Mm-hmm. So I just felt like removing myself from the equation and just cry to myself to sleep. So. I, I guess allow myself to be sad. I haven't been sad in a long time. Okay. So do you feel like it was necessary for you to be sad? Like people must be sad or I don't understand. I feel like it's a normal thing. Just it's because, a cycle of life that okay. sometimes you're happy and sometimes you're down. Sometimes you get sad and sometimes you just want to be MIA. So you couldn't be sad in front of people or I, I don't understand. Mm, at that time, no. Because people always say like, oh, Amanda, you're so always happy. I didn't want to bring anyone down with me. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I'm not saying like I'm a big impact here. I, I mean, if you feel like that's the that's your your that's your position in somebody's life. That's what you feel like you're there for in that person's life. I don't think that's fair. It's like I'm here, I'm only here to make y'all happy. But when you're not happy, it's like bye everybody. I'm gonna be sad alone. That's not fair. Mm. I guess I felt like it was a job. Yeah. I needed to show up when I'm happy. And yeah. when I'm not, I call in sick for those weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, that's so sad that you even feel that way because that, I don't know. I just feel like then, I don't know. I don't want to be known as that grumpy, sad person either. Okay, like, but you it's know, life. You have, you have those people like, oh, just grouchy. And yeah, all the just, time. Yeah, I don't but if you're be... not that all the time, it's just a period of time you're going through something. I don't think people are going to judge you and be like, oh, I'm going to come with a bad energy, you know, like, or but that's negativity. The thing, though. That's the thing, though, because I'm always referred as that happy-go-lucky person mm-hmm. that you guys never seen me sad or something. Mm-hmm. So when you do see that person sad to me, I'm just like, okay, damn, what's going on with her? Sammy, you being her that? <laughs> I mean, then I feel like that's wrong because if you are around people that you love and who love you and stuff, you're, it's life. Mm. People can't just expect you to be, if you're around people who just expect you to be happy all the time and if you're not, stay away from me. I don't need that bad energy, that negativity, then these people are not, not your friends. They're Mm. not people that you're even supposed to be around in the first place because being a friend to somebody else it's not a job it's not that I show up just to do this in your life and you show up just to come do this in my life if you can't do this at the moment they become draining yeah then get out it makes no sense mm. but I don't I don't really agree with your moment of solitude well it's gone and passed <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't really say you can't agree. It's, I, it's ha, I, maybe in the next time I have a phase. I hope I'm not sad, but you know, the next time I do get sad, I want to pass on over. Like you felt like it was necessary, or was it just actually? It, it was an eye opening because I got connected spiritually. Mm-hmm. And you know, even the you know we're Christians here. Some people sometimes you got to take a you have to take a time like aside from mm-hmm. everybody and reflect. Okay. On things. But would I just go on top, like just go on solitude and like ghost everybody? No. 
maybe I would give a hint, I guess. Okay. So the way you did it this time. It was not right. You think so? I mean, you're leaving the other person like floating in, I don't know. Um, what's that word? You're just leaving that person like, okay, should I call her? So should when you were leaving, did you, did you purposely leave me floating or was it something <laughs> you were, I, I don't know. Was it something that you planned on doing or? No, actually, no. So what was your experience? Like what was? My experience is that, okay, I, this is my little story. I, we worked together, right? Mm-hmm. And I had branched out and applied for the job, got the job. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know what happened, but I wasn't. Filling it. Like, you know when you ask for something and you get it and he's like, ooh, it's not. <laughs> it's not what I thought. It's not, even if it's a job, you get higher pay. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that it's for you. Mm-hmm. So then um, so then I got the job, started doing training for almost two months. So I guess I did go through for two months. No, in the beginning, you were a little more present. You did tell me you were going, like, it was stressful yeah. and stuff like that. So you weren't gone completely for the whole time you got the okay. job. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I... Good job. <laughs> but, but it's like um too much training and it's very drawn. Like it's, it has to do with a lot of deaths and everything. Mm-hmm. And it was sad to see little kids overdosing and everything. It was just like, oh, like uh, it was just dark. <laughs> and I'm not used to dark environment like that. Mm-hmm. And then every day I will go to my husband and be like, babe, I, I don't know my stomach. Like I have diarrhea, my bad TMI. But mm-hmm. it was so stressful that it would impact even my stomach. I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink. Like it was just bad. And then I would call some of my friends and tell them like, you know, it's bad or whatever. I can't deal with it. Mm-hmm. And cry myself like every day. But then after that, yeah, that's what was going on. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to take a refuge and take time Mm -hmm. and pray about it to get clarity. Cause is this really for me? Cause I shouldn't be feeling like that, getting a new job, getting Mm -hmm. a new pay. So I started praying, started fasting as well. And then it got better. Then I, then after that, I made a decision to go back to my old job, Mm -hmm. which is not bad. Sometimes that's a lesson. It's not Mm -hmm. bad to go back. It's like, maybe sometimes it's pride. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh my gosh, I just, Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, I didn't have that. I was like, I'm, I'm fine. Like, I, I don't want to go back. <laughs> like, can y'all take me out of this hole? <laughs> if they're listening to me, oh, well. But I really wanted to get out of that position. I was like, this is not for me. I don't care. Y'all could bring me back on salary zero if y'all want to. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'd rather, I'd, rather pay, I'd rather work for free if I have to Basically, go through that again. because I, I, it's a lesson, like, Sometimes you're chasing money or something, mm-hmm. and it's not guaranteed to have happiness. And I, my, my happiness is a lot to me. So I rather ha- be happy than to have a job like that or a higher salary. I guess. Okay. Wow. And then wow. But it, like we talk about the last episode of happiness, we did say you don't get somewhere to be happy. Mm-hmm. So that's a you true testimony. Yeah, you shouldn't <laughs> be chasing that in the first place for your happiness. So that that's good that it wasn't the case. Okay. Yeah. But what I don't understand is <clears throat> you said you started calling people and then you were crying and then you were telling them how you were down. So did you feel like the people were making you feel like you're too much or why didn't you keep calling and keep... I didn't keep calling because every time... Well, I had a, I have a group of friends, well, cousins or friends, and I talk to them and then they'll say... They will pray for me mm-hmm. or do something. It's like it was supportive. It was a lot. It was like a good backbone or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's just like I felt like I was myself. I felt like I was, you know, when you own Jaco Repet, like you keep repeating the same thing and it's like annoying. And the person's like, well, you know, God got you. Like, God got you. Like, okay, I got it. God got me. <laughs> what, what can we do right now? And that was a whole process within myself that I had to work with God, like to trust him and everything. Mm-hmm. Because I guess I was always trying to take control. Yeah. Literally trying to like, no, okay, I'm praying to God, but yet I'm not leaving into his hand. Yeah. I'm trying to like, you know, lean into my own understanding. Yeah. So that was an eye opener that I need to, that maybe that's why I stopped calling people. Like I stopped like. So you felt like the advice that we were giving you at the time is not what you wanted to hear. Yeah. What is it that you wanted to hear? Honestly, maybe just listen of me venting. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like sometimes people don't realize like, I get it. You're, we're all Christian and we want to hear the Bible and quotation and Bible verses. But sometimes it's nice to just have that 
person that's to open here and be like, you know, it's okay. Like, vent, girl. Like, because mm-hmm. I guess that's why I was more comfortable with Sammy, my mm-hmm. husband, because when I will go to him, he would be like, oh, yeah, tell me more. It was that bad? Okay, keep telling me. Mm-hmm. And I'll run into the point I fall asleep. Like, I'm like, okay, I, oh, what, how, what, what happened? But it, it, I think that's what next, like, more listening and just, yeah, venting. So, I, so you think that when we're entering conversations from now on, we should literally say, I'm coming to you. I just need you to listen. Yeah, I think that's better. Or I'm coming to you. I really need your advice. Mm-hmm. Do you think we should give a heads up? Because me, everybody knows I'm not a listener. <laughs> You're sovereign. <laughs> do not come to me if you need somebody to listen to you. <laughs> Captain Cameron is like, girl, you can do this. What did we say? She sound like my mother with like the whole Bible. Listen, like, <laughs> do not like. I, and I feel like it's important to know who to go to for what as well. Mm-hmm. You know, if you need a listener. If you know me, do not come to me. <laughs> I'm not the point of reference. No, but you, you did listen, though. Because after I talked to you, I even told Sammy, I was like, yo, I needed that talk. Even though I didn't say it to you, mm-hmm. it gave me like a boost. Because I had like, that gave me a little run on for a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, Catherine said it. I could do this. Like, you know, this is just a job. A mm-hmm. job. Like, yeah. But it's just like that one little good, like that one little drop just plurge everything and i was like ah like i'm ready to go like i'm done okay so if you gonna talk to somebody from now on i think it's best to advise them that i need a listening ear right now Mm -hmm. it's not that if you don't have 10 people because some people have the luxury of having three different friends i think in the group that i am with the people Girl, that you got a hundred uh, <laughs> with the people that I associate myself with I feel like I know who to go to for what and I think we all know who to go to for what you know mm-hmm. and if you don't have the luxury of having so many people in your life and you only have one when you're going to that person you should literally tell them I'm coming to you right now I just need you to listen I don't need your opinion I don't need your nothing I don't need it I don't need advice I don't need lift I don't need booster I don't need anything I just want you to listen right now I just want to vent and I feel like it's important to let the person know so I know in this situation what am I supposed to do because somebody like me who just like solving everything whenever you bring up something to me that's not going right I know what I would want I would want to solve this right now because I don't like dwelling on stuff and not able to figure stuff out so if somebody could help me and then give me another perspective or another idea i'm i'm all for it so if i'm coming to somebody usually it's because i'm coming for you for a solution so, yeah like me i don't i don't like listen i don't like listening i don't like I people listening to me <laughs> i don't want to come to, that's why i never called my friend to like vent like i don't do that like i've never <laughs> had you to, to i vent to myself oh, like I, i'm telling you i do I, talk to myself though i'm not crazy y'all this is very <laughs> healthy yeah. To talk, to just be in the shower. I talk and be to like, myself. Okay, I'm wiping myself down. And- no, <laughs> not, not like that. I do talk to myself, and when I go to somebody else, I want to hear solution. But mm. because most of the friends that I have, they're listeners. Whenever I go to them, they listen. Okay, that's they good. don't tell me they're. That's not good for me because that's not what I'm oh, looking for. Oh, you want to? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't go to you and order. Mine is me, the opposite. Yeah. I have solvers all the. Like, can I have a listener, please? <laughs> Sign me up for that listener. <laughs> Yeah, but me, it's like I go to them. They're all like, it's going to be okay. You're strong. Or you got this. If I had this, I wouldn't have come to you in the first place. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm here. I don't got this. That's why I'm talking to you. You're to be like, oh, you got this. You're strong. You're confident. You the, Lord, da, 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 the Lord. The Lord. Okay, good for the Lord. But right now, <laughs> I need to know what it is that I need to do, you know? So I think maybe we should give a hint, hint before we start. So that will clear off this whole misunderstanding type thing yeah you know definitely the only reason like i brought this up is because i had one friend that i did like hint that you might not hear from me Mm -hmm. child tell me what this child told me bro do you have a problem with me what i do what i do to deserve this (laughs) i'm like the person turned around and made it about themselves. Yeah, and that's one thing I hate. I hate. We're not supposed to hate anything, but I hate when people... Mm-hmm. You're talking about your struggle. Girl, I'm going through it. And this switch... It's switch. Yo! <laughs> it's like, now nah, we're talking about you can't feed your three kids and everything. Like, I get it. You got your struggle. But I called you to tell you my struggle. <laughs> can you hear me out? And then you, I can hear you. Mm-hmm. So I guess that turned me off to call anybody. That was my bad. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't like put that on everybody that yeah. I know of because I did <laughs> cold turkey cold <laughs> <laughs> she's like I, 
Amanda like, out. Amanda signed out on me. Yeah, and it it lo- it left me in the place of confusion type thing because mm. I'm like, okay, I knew you were going to this. I did call you. We were talking about it, and then sometimes you call, sometimes I call. But then when I when I never heard from you again, and I'm just like, okay, is it time to call now, or do I give her? Distance? I'm weird with that though. Do I? What what is I it? Do I do? I don't know when to call people though. I'm just weird. <laughs> I'm a weird friend, I guess, because it's like. I a lot of people call me. Mm-hmm. I I call some people that always call me. But if I see okay, I don't want to. But I probably be like, oh, can I call? Mm. I don't want to bother Catherine. And that's crazy <laughs> to me that you would even think that you're bothering me as a friend. Then then if that's the case, moon mm. Because what do you mean you're bothering me? Like what? You, Catherine does it. You have bougie friends. That's certain. I don't think so. Like those friends where you are friends. But you can't contact them in certain places. Like, it's weird. It's a weird vibe. I don't know. I don't know. But I realized through my solitude. <laughs> <laughs> Why she always laugh when I say solitude? Like, I had okay. to filter out and figure out who's really friend. Like, I really noticed who's truly for me. Like, who's mm-hmm. truly a friend. Okay. How did you do that? Hmm. How did I do that? I reflect on our relationship, our friendship. Okay. So you sit there and analyze everybody else to see, okay, is that person really for me or is that person really not for me? Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's like, you see how I remove myself from the equation, but you still called me mm-hmm. time to time. I remove myself from other friendship, not one phone call, not one text to this day, honey. Nothing. And it's just like, I was like, damn, like, was I a ghost or I don't exist? I don't matter. Even sometimes I did reach out to those people. And you know that's when people get deeper into their solitude sometimes because they they feel like they're I'm, alone. I'm not here, and you didn't even notice that I, yes. I ghosted. You know, if like, and if I feel like I remove myself, no one notices. It's like I don't even matter. So I might as well just end. I this. was kind of happy when you called me. I'll be like, did you go? What What did you say? You ghost me? I was like, damn, she noticed. <laughs> Because a lot of people, they're like, oh, Saka Fetla, I guess you're alive. Why did you guess I was busy? Like, I was literally not doing anything, rolling in my bed, yeah. watching Netflix, crashing to stupid movies, and then not even knowing what was going on with mm-hmm. me. So it's like, that I noticed who's really, who really cares, I okay. guess. Okay, and who noticed your presence and, okay. Mm-hmm. And that my presence really matters in their life, I guess. But do you think you have to go through solitude to figure that out? No, you don't. But I like my solitude. <laughs> I don't like your solitude. <laughs> <laughs> no, this actually looking. I, like. Catherine, is straight coming out to say that I don't like. I don't like that solitude. I don't like. It was nice though, actually, Catherine, like to fast and to really dwell. That's and- good. That's good. But I just feel like we were not born. We were not created to, to be, be alone. I'm I don't actually know. not born alone. I was born with a yeah. whole human being. <laughs> <laughs> you were I just feel like we were created. To be in contact with others, and we were created to be there for each other. That's how I feel like, because I feel like the human humans cannot live alone. To me, it's not possible to just go in a mountain and just go Wilder. from everybody else. I yeah. think that's not. Even if you feel like that's that was that's what makes you happy. I feel like you were and not created to to be like that. It made me content to like no like I don't know like a reflection. On, like an aspect of life it made me like step back you know when you're like a spectator and you're actually the performer mm-hmm. i feel like i was a performer let me go sit down in the bench and watch what's going on okay i don't know how to explain if that's a good analogy i, I, I see what you yeah, mean yeah like just step back from the play and watch what's going on but i do that all the time i just do it at night i don't feel like you need to go <laughs> well have a whole four weeks of <laughs> Well, you know, even from the job, honey, you get you need a vacation. You need to withdraw yourself. <laughs> and anything, you need a break. Like, yeah, I understand. But how do you do it then? Eh? How do you do it? Like, like what I do night? is at night I reflect on the day to see what was my what what role did I play in that person's life today? Mm. Okay, I see whoever I talk to today. I'm like, what role? What was I doing? Was I listening? Was I was I solving? Was the person using me? Am I being used? I don't mind being used. Okay, because I always say she's if, an instrument. Huh? Yeah, I, I tell you, if you're not being used, <laughs> you're useless. So <laughs> it doesn't bother me to be used. I feel like maybe I was put in that person's life for them to use for, me to, to do use that. You, like yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't know. People feel some type of way about me. I don't, I, it doesn't bother me. So I, I reflect 
and to see, okay, tomorrow I want to see if I play that role, how the person's gonna, you know, gonna react. Okay, today I was leading the show. Tomorrow I'm gonna call them and let them talk or let them lead or listen or da da da. Change that. Cause I do that daily, so I'm I'm always watching and come on by and lady. I'm always on that thought. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> what the brand? <laughs> I like watching. Okay, so at the night, at night time, I see like I watch the whole day. Okay, mm, so okay, that's so like, you reflect on yeah, what. Okay, that's my vacation. Mm, oh, okay. Well, so. I don't like that vacation though, but <laughs> I like the idea though. Mm-hmm. I like the idea of reflecting. Of I might try to do that. Maybe I won't ghost anymore. Yeah, because I feel like once you do that, you always under because. I don't know. I feel like some people you're there for them and you were meant to be there for them and some people are there for you. Da, 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 da. And if I don't know, I don't feel like the cool, the whole world is on my shoulder. I have no. such good responsibility. I must. Da, 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 da. It's just like I want to be there for other people. I want to be there for others. I want to serve others in any way that I can. And if me going ghosting, going to solitude for three weeks I'm not doing what I was meant to be to doing do in these people's lives. Mm-hmm. Not that that's it's not that I feel like I'm being used, I'm being drained. No. I, I make sure I'm in check all the time too. You know what I mean? Even though I'm in your life, I'm doing that for you. It's not that you're using me. You know, I feel like any in any situation where you're you feel like you're being drained, you should just leave. Okay. Right. You shouldn't be there in the first place. Don't take a vacation to vacation to come back. No. Don't go no. back. You drain, you get out. <laughs> yeah, like Exit. Get, don't go rejuvenate and then come back to be drained drain again. again. No. I don't I don't think that's healthy. I I, I don't think you should be friend with anybody that's draining you. And if I'm draining you, unfriend me. <laughs> like that ass. You know? It's only one button. <laughs> <laughs> and for, like literally just cross me out of your your book and stuff like that. You're not draining nobody, girl. But okay, some pa- some I appreciate that you say that. Now what the whole thing that you were talking about made me realize one thing. It just made me realize that you don't have any friends. Maybe I don't. That's what it, it made me realize. That's how I feel. I don't ask if that's how you feel. It made me feel like you don't have any friends and you feel like you have to go through stuff on your own and you're a burden to everybody else. And if you ever feel like you're a burden to anybody else, it's clearly because nobody else has ever made you comfortable to make you feel like you could be yourself around everybody. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's somebody else's job to make you feel comfortable, but I don't, I don't know whose job it is to do that. I don't know if yeah. it's... Honestly, it's my job to make myself feel comfortable. No, but if is the it? person don't give you... I don't know. I don't know. If the person is so judgmental... Okay, if you have a friend that's always talking bad about people that are sleeping with, with married men... Oh, child. And then one day, <laughs> you slip up and you go sleep with a married man. Hey, how do you slip up? <laughs> you fall on the... Listen. <laughs> oops. <laughs> You nah. slip and tripped on the on the peewee. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, child, that's don't a know. that's a nice fall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You slip up and that happens. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I don't I don't think you'll ever be comfortable to call that friend to to tell them about it. You know, because you've always heard the way they talk about people who do that. Oof. So I think in that way, and I, I like, guess I guess what you're saying, I got to to find new friends. I don't know. Do something. Find new friends or... I don't know. Find new friends or ask... Maybe... Okay. Maybe what you should do is ask better questions. In a sense that... I think we do this friendship thing wrong. You know? Mm. Like... We just... Yeah, I'm talking to somebody. We've been talking for 10 years. Therefore, uh, she must what? be my friend. my friend. But there was never a sitting down of saying, okay, if this were to ever happen, how are we going to handle this? Like a relationship. Yeah. You it know? is a relationship. It's friendship. It's yeah. Ship. <laughs> <laughs> it is a relationship. I, I should say like a marriage. It, it definitely. You know? Some friendship do go through divorce. 
Yeah, and you know, the, you know, a breakup, a friendship breakup, it, it hurts. Then uh, it's, it breaks your heart harder Even than more. a and a, a, a relationship breakup. I had uh, what was it last year? I had a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friendship divorce, y'all. When I tell you that hurt, I feel like Sammy could have stumped on my heart three times. It would have hurt that much. No. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> Sammy looking like, wait, what? Hold on. No, but it's just like you share everything with that friend. Mm-hmm. But actually, that friend was not even beefing with me. It goes back to, I think we had to talk about this, where you're friend with someone and friend with a sibling. Okay. You're both friends with that person. Mm-hmm. And that person just withdraw the sense because they have a problem with that friend. Therefore, they're not your friend. Yeah. Which really hurt me. Mm-hmm. That's why I felt like it was it hurt me because you didn't even give me the benefit of the doubt to explain anything mm-hmm. or to understand the situation to see if I would side with my sibling or if I would side with you. Mm-hmm. You understand? So I was like, were you my friend ever? Mm-hmm. Were you ever my friend or were you just... I was just a pet like I was just a dog barking next to you and you just fed me the bone and then (laughs) you just dropped me as trash extra (laughs) the extraness I see what you mean I see what you mean and you know I'm friends with three sisters right and I feel like we never made it clear as to what would happen if one of the sisters. Ooh, you, if girl, something happens on the from sisters. From my experience, you better clarify. Call them up right now. <laughs> I think I should. I think I should call them. Oh, Not no. now. <laughs> Not I was now. about to say, wait, hold on. Not now. But after the episode, I think it's a good... Thank you for bringing this to light. It's like, it's necessary I, to do. In friendship... We should clarify things when things are good. Yeah. Not when things it's are bad. bad. You goes in the way. Hurt is in the way. You're trying to have a conversation with that person. No, I don't it think it's going to work. work. You know, maybe when things are good, when we're all laughing to say, hey, by the way, if I ever, you know, I don't know, not saying that I would do that. Yeah. But if anything ever happens, what do you want to do with this friendship? Like, how do you want to deal with it? Do you want to take some time off and then we could come back and talk about it? Are you somebody who likes your distance? Because some people don't like dealing with stuff right then and there. Okay. They like to take a little time, calm down, then come back and deal with it. Some people, people like me, I like dealing with stuff when it's hot. I need to know right now. I don't care if you're mad right Right now. now. Tell me how you feel about me right now. I don't care if you're mad and it's like, I'm mad right now. I'm never going to feel good about you. I don't care. I need to know right Right now, you know, like in, I feel like in friendship, it's important to do avant, okay? Mm. And we pick our friendship so lightly. It's just like, oh, Amanda's my friend. Like me and Amanda never had a situation where we talked to know, okay, yes, we're friends. Yes, I know you through Sammy. Does that mean you're my friend? What should I do if that happens? How should I do if that if this happens? What if me and Sammy break up? What if you and, I think we did this. <laughs> Sammy's like, oh, Sammy, break up. Oh, my heart. <laughs> He's like, break we ain't up. going nowhere. He's like, what is that? But <laughs> that's a good, that's an important conversation as well. What if the marriage is over? Right. What would I do? I think I actually told you guys I what I would do. I think you did tell yeah. me. You told me what well, my loyalty is with Sammy, girl. I'm sorry. So, what the trash? <laughs> that's what old girl told me. She said she's dumping my ass. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't was like <clears throat> maybe okay. You you see that's important to to clarify because maybe last year I was feeling this way and this year I'm not because yeah. maybe it was in the beginning of our relationship where I felt like my friend was him. I just know you through him, mm-hmm. and no matter what, I would never hit him. But if you hurting him, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna feel about you. You know what I mean? So it, it's. It's it's a good conversation I, I, to have. I like how you said that. It's it was there last year, mm-hmm. but you don't know how you because friendship do grow, grow and they do blossom because mm-hmm. it's like a plant, like this beautiful plant. You <laughs> gotta water it, plant. You know, <laughs> very beautiful. <laughs> you gotta water it in order for it to grow, mm-hmm. just like a relationship and friendship. I would say my sister always tells me that my twin sister, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> but Samantha always tells me she doesn't pick friends lightly or she doesn't throw that word lightly. Mm-hmm. Samantha, I'm quoting you, girl. <laughs> but she always says a friendship or any relationship is sacred. Mm-hmm. Even when you read the Bible, 
friend, all those disciples were friends. Mm-hmm. That was sacred. Mm-hmm. You can't just say, oh, I'm your friend, whatever. Okay, well, Catherine, you looked at me that way, girl. We're not friends no more. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's not a friend. That's just... An acquaintance. Even acquaintance is too deep, girl. That's like a one night stand. <laughs> you know, I a just, couple weeks then. Right. <laughs> we just tolerate each other, even mm-hmm. at most. Like I see you, girl. Okay, <laughs> you know, good. Bye. But a true friend is like I'm. Re- I'm ready to go through the dirt with you. I'm mm-hmm. ready, like girl. You don't got no roof over your head or anything going through in your life. I'm ready to fight. Or you like, girl. I don't want to talk to you. No, you go and talk to me mm-hmm. today. Like. Call me up or I'm blowing up to the point I get blocked or something. But that's true friendship, I feel like. That's true. So we should do like a prerequisites. I feel like there should be a prenup friendship. A prenup? <laughs> what she talk about? That's too deep. Hear me out. Hear me out. It mm-hmm. had nothing to do with money. If you, you know, a friendship is very sacred. And a prenup is not only money, right? Mm-hmm. It could be terms Stuff like don't cross me that way, don't do that. But we we're never been put through situations to be know like okay, I would never betray you, yeah. Catherine. But like a thing like that solitude moment that mm-hmm. I have that we should have like a contract, a friendship contract where it says, "Girl, if you feeling down, call me up." Yeah. Or don't if ever you ever do that again, I'm a, I'm gonna take the time to say <laughs> they that. They <laughs> To say that on camera, you don't ever do that again. I, don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> we got a friend prenup. Give me a heads up. Like I don't, I don't care if you're gonna take solitude moment, but let me know, cat. I'm not feeling well. If you don't hear but from me, Kat, I'm not be dead. Be honest though, mm-hmm. you being a solver, you're not gonna take that. No, no, I, I will understand. Even though I'm a solver, I, I understand. Mm. I understand that. Like, well. Girl, you don't need this. You got me. You, what, what do you mean you need to go alone? <laughs> come, come. You need people around you. But That's how will make you feel better. Honestly, sometimes you need those, ty- those type of friends. Like those friends, even though you say, because I might say, oh, I needed solitude, but maybe I didn't. Like maybe I didn't. So now you're confusing me. You see, women don't know what they want. Like, I am a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused as hell. Like, <laughs> you confused no, me. No, I needed it. I needed it, honestly. Mm-hmm. True tea, I needed it. Um, But the way I went about it, I won't go about it that way. Okay. Maybe I would give you a heads up. Be mm-hmm. like, okay, oh, man, I'm down. Now, maybe this time I want you to talk me out of it because yeah. it's not good. Like, girl, like, girl, let's go get some mimosa and get yeah. out of it. Like, maybe I needed a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because I don't think, I don't think it's, these feelings are normal. I'm not going to say it's not normal to go through downs. It's normal. But I don't think it's a must. I don't think we must go through rock bottom by no, ourselves. Because somebody did, whew, child. Somebody did associate my solitude with depression. Mm -hmm. And it got me frustrated. I'm not going to lie. It really got me frustrated because it's like, we're throwing that word very (gasps) closely. (laughs) And people are really going through depression. Mm Because I don't know, in 2020, people like to use big terms and big words. Like, yeah, girl, you're going through uh, chronic (laughs) depression now. (laughs) You need to take this and that. But like, it's... It's normal to go through down. We mm-hmm. all have ups, we have downs. Mm-hmm. People deal with it differently. Mm-hmm. But the, well, how could I say this? The delivery or the notification or alert needs to be mm-hmm. aware. Like it needs to show like, okay, girl, I'm I'm not good. I'm, yeah. Yeah. But depression is a spirit. And I think I understand people go through depression, but I don't think we must. All go through depression. The thing, no. the trend that I see that people are doing now, it's cool. You have to be depressed. Like it's okay to be depressed. I know it's okay, but it's not normal. Like yeah, it's, it's not. Don't turn. They're the trying to like to normal. normalize depression. I'm not saying Tanku, It's not. It's not something that happens. Mm. Like when I say it's not normal, it's not like oh, if you depressed, you're not normal. No, it's a feeling that happens. It and can it has happen. To go away. Yeah, but it's not a feeling you must go through you understand what Mm -hmm. i mean it's normal to be depressed it's not like it's good i don't want to say it's normal to be depressed because i feel like whenever i use normal it's something that's good Mm. like i don't know it's It's, a phase you can't go through that phase yeah it's a phase if you go through it you're not alone you're not bad it's not not anything like you did that oh my god you you that's your fault that's not what it is Mm -mm. but don't ever feel like I feel like I'm going depressed. Well, I have to go through that state because people go through downs. Yeah, don't so normalize it. Yeah, therefore, mom, she's on a depression. Way. Oh my gosh, bam, bam. You know, I, 
I don't think I feel like the moment you see that coming or you feel catch it yourself. coming, catch yourself and find out what it is that you could do to solve it or to I don't know if it's people find other ways because different people go through deal with it different mm-hmm. ways, you know. And if if because not everybody has that same strength mm-hmm. to catch it themselves because that's probably the early stages where you feel yeah. like something is off here because mm-hmm. I have. Somebody in my close circles, they felt down mm-hmm. and they were like, oh, oh man, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm losing myself. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, come on now. We mm-hmm. got to, what was that? The, the old, old jack? Like we got to jack you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but you know, when your car battery yeah. dies, you got to, you know. Booster. We, booster. There you go. Mm-hmm. We had a booster up and she's back normal. Had we just, you know, solitude. It's, she has ex, like put herself to the side, went down the hill, went all the way down. Probably would have killed a few people now, mm. but she's good now. But I make sure I check on you guys. We have to do better. We have to check on our peers. We have to verify if you, are you okay? No, are you really now? Don't say okay, girl. I'm good. I had a good week. Mm-hmm. No, check in with your friends. Sit them down. Ask them a few questions to see if they really like are really good. Not just like are oh, you good? Because everybody's gonna say yeah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then to see what the answer is as well. Loma de question like what is it that they answer and. If if you know somebody so much, you know, like you could see, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's a brain condition when we're talking about like depression. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, like, it can be diagnosed, you know, it's not, I don't know. It's not a phase. Mm. It, even though there are phases of depression. depression. Okay. Yeah. But it's not a phase of life you must go through. Mm. You know, like how you go through a young phase, a old, old phase, phase, a, a mid midlife phase. Crisis. <laughs> I don't know if you must go through a midlife. You phase. don't, but they normalized it. Yeah. So I feel like it's something that could, that could be diagnosed, and if it's happening, you need to get help to get out of it. Mm, yes. You know. Yeah. Bravo, 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 <laughs> bravo, bravo, bravo. Captain. I'm bravo. <laughs> <laughs> that annoying, but by 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 social worker, but I, I don't know. You know, some people might have a different understanding, Standing. maybe a definition. Yeah. So and if we do, do let it us wrong. know in the comments, please, Comment, because I don't like. want to run around talking nonsense either. But that's what I think. And well, that's why we're having those conversations, honestly, to mm-hmm. educate ourselves. And if we are making mistakes here, please correct us. <laughs> <laughs> please correct us. <laughs> so all about uncle. Okay, so now that we agreed that Amanda will never do that again. And then if you do have a friend, do not do that again as well. And if you don't feel comfortable with a friend to do, to know, to tell them everything and stuff like that, really check yourself to see if that person even my friend. And if they're not your friend, find new ones. It's or okay. Cancel them. Or... I see a lot of people writing on the status like, girl, I, know, I notice people that I grew up since day one, they go to a drastic tra- change and they realize all those people, she erased all of them. And it was like, yo, actually, I'm closer to my acquaintance than my actual wow. friend. That's deep. I, when I saw that, I was like, dang. Woo, that's a wow. knife in the heart. But it's deep. Because you do outgrow people. Ouch. I don't know. If you are growing me, you need to let me know. And no, then you that's need to tell I- me. <laughs> I need a heads up. No, I'm girl. Yeah, you need a heads up. I'm but outgrowing you, you. The level that you're at. There's a humble way to say it. You can't just be like, girl, I'll outgrow you. I'm done. You mirror. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you low down. Like, I I feel like you can say healthily, like, I, it's time for me to walk away from this. All like, just like a good, nuances, you, a you, good got, breakup. you got a good breakup. Yeah. Like, girl, it was fun. Those old <laughs> seven years where we were drinking, partying, girl, it was fun. But I'm not there no more. I gotta wow. move on. What are you trying to say? That I'm still there? I'm still there. No, low. I'm not. I didn't even, I didn't even <laughs> drink, man. You know, but I'm, no, but I'm saying, like, that's, that's probably Usually what the that's person like, will answer. An answer no, to. it's just like, we're, you're going left and I'm going right. And knowing my city, if I see you, we're happy. And I cherish those good seven years that we had together. It's just time for me to go. Cat, one by one rejection, well, you know, yeah, we talk about hard. we talk about this like it's light, but these things are nuances. And but you know, I rather that than be uncertain and dragging along someone when you're truly you can't give to me. You can't give that person when you're one hundred because mm-hmm. you're not in the same path. Mm-hmm. Until you can realize and stop with the phoniness and the fakeness, mm-hmm. then you can be like, "Girl, I can't hang out with you no more. We're not there mm-hmm. anymore." And I realized last week. About yeah. my one of my good best friends, we gotta go. <laughs> Thank wow. you for watching. Wow, <laughs> that's shady. Yeah. No, I just, <laughs> I just, no, but I 
actually, it actually brought. Did y'all know my co-host was shady? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it actually brought tears to me because um, it's actually one of my good friends, good good friend, walked in my wedding, everything. And I realized we're going through like. It's a whole you right now. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going here, you going there. And it's no hard feelings. I still love that person mm-hmm. dear to my heart, but it's just, I feel like we're not the same. It's not, nothing yeah. that she said, nothing that she did, but it's just. I don't know. If anybody ever feel like that about me, write me a letter or something. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry if you come tell me in front of me. And I don't cry. So <laughs> Did you say your 20s is when you figure it out? Who's really, who you're going to ride with? And I feel like because, you know, next in a couple of weeks, I go be 27. And I'm getting old. I'm out the door, almost in the hallway to get out of the 20s. <laughs> so I feel like right now I'm really figuring that out. Like, who... I'm a, and maybe who, you am take, I, who you taking to who, your 30s? Who I'm taking my 30s because you might get left in my 20s. Ouch. Not saying like, it's not saying like all my friends have to be in their 30s. Because mm-hmm. I have friends that are young. I have friends that are extremely old and yeah. I have friends. But it's, are we aligned? Yeah. Are we in the same path? Are we thinking the same way? Are we but visionaries? Do you, do you even want to surround yourself with people that think the same way as you though? When I say the same way, because I see a lot of posts where if you're not think, talking about this and that, you shouldn't be friends. I like to have friends where we're different, mm-hmm. but I'm talking about like literally how could, my values. Your values. Yeah. It's not a line anymore. Okay. It's like, if you doing something about, I don't know, how could I say, what, what's the thing that's against my values? Like, mm, if you out here breaking marriages, that's not my values. I can't be your friend. I can't. Can. I can't. Can. I love marriage. I, that's the foundation that Christ If has. you breaking marriages, I will still be your friend. Okay, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's like I get I understand it. What you I mean. will resonate with you, and I'll be like, "Girl, I pray for you. I'm still good. Like, you know, nothing ill, but it's not my values, bro. I'm not gonna applaud you for doing that because yeah. I have a marriage. But if you okay, if you don't applaud the person, does that mean that you automatically can't be friend with them just because you don't applaud something that they're doing? No, 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 no. There's some friends, every day we do bad stuff. You, I'll be like, oh, Captain, you know, that thing was not right. Yeah. It's not right. You know, you should try to change. And you notice what type of friend, like, oh, damn, okay. I talk to Captain. I go home, like you said, that reflection. Mm-hmm. Oh, Kat, I made a call me out on this. I really did. And then within your actions, I will see if how you move. Yeah. But if you're like, yo, whatever, F that. Like, I'm going deep. And you're rolling deeper and deeper. Can't be friends. You eventually you will drag me down there too. Ouch! And I'm not trying to crash. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow! All of that to say, uh, one thing, one thing that happened before I even conclude. One thing that happened is um, when you were going through your thing, I'm not that extra, so and you weren't posting, so maybe if you posted something, I probably would have thought oh, it was Lord. about me. You know, like <laughs> so. I, there's this lady that we know that she. <laughs> She, she she posted a Facebook post and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But she has a friend that has been calling her and calling her and calling her. But she hasn't been able to pick up because she was bu- busy. She was working and stuff. But she was able to pick up some other uh, somebody else's phone. phone just because they didn't call at the same time. But when that other person fi- find out that she's picking up her phone call and not hers, she's like, wait. Did I do something wrong? So now the lady went out on Facebook and posted a Bible verse. Talk about, what's the Bible verse? Um, your enemies. Oh, get Lord. rid of your enemies. No, no, no. Actually, I know what story you're talking about. Actually, it's that person that couldn't pick up the phone that they keep the calling posted that. Yeah. And then that person, it took it hard. Like, damn, I'm the one that been calling her. Like, We're talking about person, should... person. Maybe we should personalize it. Let's say Amanda's going through something and I'm the friend that keeps calling her and she never picks up. She's not going through anything, but Amanda just never picks up my phone call. Yeah, and I post something. And then Amanda posts something. She's like, oh, get rid of phone, you friends. Example, let's say mm-hmm. that's what she says, you know? <laughs> oh, and then, friend, friends that keep calling, if, if I don't pick up, you get the cue. Yeah, <laughs> let's say she posts something like that, you know what? Like, I won't be like, oh, wait, is this about me? So the lady went and sent a whole voice message talking about, I know, just be the last, I know this might be the last time we hear from each other. I enjoy. But just so you know, I enjoyed the time that we spent together. It's not like a, a like, death note. Yeah. It's like, it's like I, I understand if you don't want to talk to me anymore. Da, 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 but I saw you posted on Facebook. Well, thank you for being my friend when you were. All these things. And the lady called and she said, what are you talking about? It's a 
sermon that I was listening to and I saw that I just posted it has nothing to do with you so that's what I'm saying it's important to give people the heads up, up? you know yeah. so at the end of the day but also Captain it's important not to internalize everything like everything that I post is not about you <laughs> like you know how many people that you encounter uh-huh. <laughs> we gotta do better yeah but if you if I know everything you post is not about me but if you you know if you give me a heads up I will know for sure it's not about me definitely okay I feel like that person that didn't get uh, like let's say you kept on calling me mm-hmm. and I saw that you kept on calling me I don't just leave it on red yeah like, I, 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 I a was little busy text. Yeah. it literally takes 30 seconds it, to say all, all it takes I'll call you back or something yeah that, that's all it is so call, call me, text me, <laughs> you you know, voice note, uh, iMessage. Yeah. yeah. It's not that hard, is it? It's not that hard. So we need to do better. We will do better. And there are prerequisites to friendship and stuff like that. It's all about balance. Not that Amanda can't have solitude, even though I don't like it. Not that she can't have it. There ain't gonna be it, none. You know? It's kind of lonely not, down there anyway. <laughs> not that she can't have it, but don't feel like you have to go through that alone. alone. It's not okay to just... Be- alone we could we could all it's okay if we all go down there with you True. okay yeah. i'm not there to be at your top only don't ever feel like oh i'm i'm a up top friend i'm the hype friend if it's not a party i can't be there if i'm sad i can't be around her no then that's not your friend okay yeah. it should be it should be okay for me to go through the lows with you and through the, the highs, highs with you because it's better when you're two three together to carry that burden or whatever Okay. Okay. Balance it out, please. So, if any of y'all felt like y'all had solitude through this quarantine, hit, leave a comment down below. <laughs> comment, like, share, and subscribe. Because we're on YouTube now, baby. <laughs> y'all can see us now, like, <laughs> evidently. Yeah. So, this has been What, what the, the Talk. Talk. What the a talk. talk. <laughs> if you like what you just saw, comment, subscribe, share, and don't forget to smash the like button. <laughs>